Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I got inside of my August Lip Factory box. If you guys are not aware of what Lip Factory is, it's actually a makeup subscription service where they send you five to seven full-size makeup items a month. It is $22 a month for those of us in the United States and then depending on where else you live in the world, it's different prices because of shipping costs. I will have a link below for Lip Factory if you guys are interested in checking it out if you haven't already, but I am going to get right into my box. Okay, so when you open up the box, this is what it looks like inside. There's actually a card in here that says Lip Factory August 2014. This is pretty standard for all makeup subscription services. Um, this one lists all the products to one side with the prices, descriptions, and then there's actually photos of each product as well. This is what the box actually looks like when you open it up and look inside. Um, the first thing I see here are some red cherry lashes. These are in the number one, and these are actually lashes that I would 100% wear, 100%, 100%, because they are nice, they're thick, they're dark, um, but they are not anything too crazy, too out there, too extreme. I don't really go anywhere where I would need like crazy fancy extremely nuts latches. So these are pretty perfect for me. I actually wish I had these on right now, but I don't. The next thing I have here is from LA Splash and this is a mineral blush. This is in the shade Ring of Fire. There is a safety seal, so I'm gonna attempt to pull that off of there so I can take a closer look at it. Oh no, I don't think I can. I don't have my tweezers. Ooh, ooh, nail clipper. This'll do it. Yes, 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 yes. Woohoo, got it. Ooh, this is actually a really pretty color. Woo, girl, that is very, very pigmented. Like for a blush, I'm gonna have to be super, super gentle with it because I don't want to go crazy clown cheeks. But it's like a, how am I gonna describe this? It's sort of like a mauve copper shade and it has definitely quite a bit of like sheen to it. There's not really like shimmer. I mean, I guess there's a little bit, but more than that, it's just kind of like a pearly kind of finish. This is like the perfect color for fall. And if you've watched me at all, you'll know I'm extremely excited for fall to come. So this excites me for some reason. Just basically anything fall related excites me. Next up, I have a lipstick. There's no label on this lipstick, but Lip Factory sent out an email to all of their subscribers um, explaining why. The company that sends this out is Pink Parter, P Pink? pink powder parlor um, and they weren't able to put their labels on their lipsticks for this shipment. I, I I don't know the details, but in any case, this is a really pretty pink shade. This is in the number 301 and it is my kind of lipstick. This is like a really, really pretty like Barbie pink with a, it actually has a little bit of like a purpley kind of bluish undertone to it, which we all know make your teeth look really, really white. For me, it's really awesome that there's absolutely no pearliness, no shimmer to this lip product at all because for me, I'm definitely not a fan of that stuff and with my lip products um i actually like more like subdued lips as much as possible so like adding shimmer and stuff to them just is like not it's just not my thing okay the next product i have is another thing from la splash and this is a lip gloss in the shade barely there which sounds great because what did i just say i prefer not really to have much on my lips and this is a really like milky kind of pink shade it's something that if you put on your lips i don't even think that this would really show up very much i mean like i'm loading it on here and it's just kind of like Clear with a little bit of like a milkiness to it. It might help to transform the shade of another lipstick. Like, let me try to put it on top of this one and see what it does. Oh yeah, it made it like a little bit lighter. So this is something that if you have like a darker lip color and you want it a little bit lighter, you could use something like this um, to lighten it up, obviously. I don't smell any kind of scent with it. It's not like a MAC product where it smells like overtly sweet. I don't really smell anything with this. So it's just a nice kind of over the top, another lipstick color. Did that make sense to you? It did up here. <laughs> I don't know if it made sense coming out. Okay, there's two more things. So total in this box, we have six products, which is really awesome. The next thing I have here is an eyeshadow primer from the brand Medusa, and we've re received um, something else from Medusa before. What was it? Oh, I think an eyeshadow. Yeah, I think an eyeshadow. Um, and this is kind of just like a waxy eye primer, um, eyeshadow primer. I haven't used it, obviously, so I don't really know what it'll be like. There's no scent to it. There's no color to it. Although it does kind of look like it has a tone here. It doesn't, it's just clear. So that's really good, nice and universal for all different skin tones. And lastly, it's probably the most exciting thing in here. And this is from Colt Nails. This is a nail polish in this shade. Oh my gosh. Not Kizzle's Shizzle? <laughs> Okay, we'll go with it. This is definitely a color that I love to wear my nails when I do have my nails done, which they haven't been for probably about three or four months now. It's a really, really beautiful baby blue color. Um, there is absolutely no pearliness, no shimmer to it. It's just a cream color, which is what I favor when it comes to nail polish. It looks like it's a really, really nice formula, like definitely not too thick, not too thin, but there's plenty of pigmentation to it. So this is probably like a one coater and I just love it. This is perfect for me. So the total value of all six products is $56.50. 
sense. So if you paid $22 for your box, that is quite the value. I haven't really had any issues with Lip Factory. Definitely haven't had any dud boxes. I mean, there's been a couple of products that I wouldn't necessarily pick for myself, but that's fine because that's what a subscription box is all about. Trying out things that you wouldn't pick for yourself. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out Lip Factory for yourself, there will be a link below. Definitely check them out for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.